Hi, I'm a pharmacist. I'm licensed in three states, and today we're going to be taking a trip down the Dollar Tree medication aisle to see what's important and see what's not. Are people shy away from these meds because of the reputation Dollar Tree has? But um, if, I mean, all most medications. I'll explain later, but most have to meet FDA regulations, so it doesn't really matter where they're being sold. They still have to be the highest quality. Oh, here we go. My home and native. The first thing I saw was this muscle rub cream. It's menthol 2.5%. And I was a real big fan of this one right out of the gate. It's 1.5 ounces. Okay, so that's a pretty good quantity. Um, so 2.5%. It was made in the United States in uh, Mississippi there. To give you an idea of why I think that's a good deal, there's another product right next to it that uh, makes it look even better. So right next door, I found this Arctic Ice Pain Relieving Gel. And if you look at the back, it's only 1.25% menthol. So that's half the menthol concentration. And I believe this one was made in India. If, oh no, it was China. Made in China as well. But you get a much bigger quantity for this, but still. Uh, even all that being said, I would prefer this one. The higher percentage to me is a much better value. I saw these guys earlier and it threw me for a loop. It, w it was a very odd experience for me. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. So what these are, if you can read it there, isopropyl alcohol, methyl salicylate, magnesium sulfate, and capsicum. It's like a pain relieving liquid soak thing. So this is like an Epsom salt combination, but it, it, it's already pre-mixed and there's also a couple different things in there. Like I don't think Epsom salt really has the isopropyl alcohol in there. So this was uh, this is a very unique product I saw here. Also, they're made in the USA, so that's always good. Although it's a very unique product, and I, I I'm very interested in it, I don't think I would recommend it. But I'm not really sure. I don't I don't want to give a firm opinion on that one. So maybe if somebody tries it, they let me know. Like it's just such a it's an oddball product. I was happy to see it, but I just don't really know if it's worth it or not because I don't know much about it. One of these days, I'm going to get my life together and, and just review all these topical products. My goodness, there's so many. But for today, I wanted to take a look at these two. So both of these are the same thing, same concentration, menthol 5%. And over here, it's been, whoops, be back. Menthol 5% on this one as well. But this one is one patch, and this one is two patches. Now, why do you think that is? They're the same price, obviously. We're at the Dollar Tree. So why does one of them have two patches in it and the other one only has one? It's twice as many patches. So the two-patch product was made in China and the one-patch product was made in India. You know the Indians, they always make good stuff. A little ShamWow reference for everybody here today. But no, that's not why. Uh, so this one's just a very much larger patch. So it's nine inches by four inches and then this one is two patches and they're you know that. <laughs> so you actually get more surface area on this patch um, even though it's one big patch and I'll tell you something that's very unique well I shouldn't say very unique but something specific about this patch is that it can be cut in half so you can cut you, you're, you're technically getting more for, for this uh, product. Yeah so this is technically the better buy then one patch you can cut it in half or thirds or whatever and use it all over your body you're, you're technically getting more with this one. All right, folks, I'm back, and this is what I got today. Vitamin A and D cream. Now, I'm assuming most everybody knows what this is already, but uh, if you don't, it's a cream that moisturizes and helps soothe dry, flaky skin. So this is, I don't know, just like, I would call this like standard skin care, you know, for, for just everyday use. And it comes in a one and a half ounce tube. It's pretty good. Remember, Dollar Tree, so this was $1.25. And... Um, so what exactly is this? So if you, I don't know if you guys can read this here. The, the ingredients, um, I mean, there's a lot of very large words here. <laughs> very difficult to pronounce words. But the important part here is vitamin A as retinal palmitate, which is fine. That's perfectly fine. We don't have any issue with that. And vitamin D as colcalciferol. Okay, so that's vitamin D3 for those of you who are astute. There's vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. I am just going to venture a guess here and say that vitamin D2 probably does not exist in a cream. Vitamin D2 is, is a pill that you would take uh, generally once weekly for uh, bone health. 
But um, as far as, I'm, as looking at this package and the product, made in the USA, I know a lot of folks care about that, and that's very important to them. Um, I mean, they have a QR code on here. For me, that just reeks professionalism to me. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, yeah, this looks like a really good company, really good uh, product here. So let's open it up and try it out. Now, when opening these packages, you have to be as dainty and meek as possible. Use with care when opening. All right, enough goofing around. So, I mean, it's, it's just more of the same stuff uh, um, from the package. It just says right here on the bottle. Nothing too particularly uh, special about this, honestly. Let's open it up. Classic. Oh, the seal is not broken. That's always good. Okay, I want to I wanna try this out. I'm really excited to try this. So, let's just put some right here on that beautiful hand. I've been told I should be a hand model. Not kidding. Some people have actually said that to me. Something about the veins or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's some good stuff right there. I'm going to be honest with you. As a man who does not care about his skin at all, this just feels like any other lotion to me. But I know that there's a lot of benefit to A&D ointment and cream. Um, I use it all the time for, you know, our bedbound patients or whatever. Just folks who, who struggle, you know, to keep their skin in, in proper conditioning because maybe they don't have access or maybe they don't have the ability to, like, go outside, you know. Maybe they don't have the ability to, um, you know, just the, the normal operations of a, a functioning person they don't have. So their, their skin kind of takes a toll. So... I have definitely seen the benefits of this particular cream um, myself uh, in our patients. And the fact that this came from the Dollar Tree is, is no issue to me. I think that's great. There's nothing wrong with this at all. One of the things I wasn't sure of though is how the cost per ounce compares to like other products. So I got a couple here to look at. Uh, funny, same exact thing. One and a half ounce and everything, seven sixty nine on Amazon. That's you know four or five. Or it's like five times more, and you just run to the Dollar Tree. I guess uh, I mean if you don't have a Dollar Tree around you, I guess that's why somebody would buy that. But anyway, um, so here here's I, I was expecting to see like big like bottles of this stuff being sold for cheap, but I really couldn't find any. The, the only thing I could find at least on Amazon was this company. Um, and what is this, six tubes, four ounces each. So there's a lot more here. What you care about is the price per ounce, and it's 55 cents per ounce um, compared to, I, I don't know what it would be at the Dollar Tree. I guess it'd be a dollar per ounce then, somewhere around there. So, I mean, this is a much better deal per ounce. Um, one of the things I wasn't sure about, though, is because vitamin A and, and D is technically not a drug, they technically don't have to tell you the concentration. So I don't know if this product has more A and D than this product. There's really no way to know unless someone contacts them and asks. But I, I actually tried to find an answer. I found the company. Their Instagram is hilarious. I love this. Just so, so jovial and cherubic. I love it. But anyway, their, their website is also exactly what you expect. I love this little company. They're my new favorite. So I love this here. One may think with such low prices that Natureplex's products are imported. Not so, exclamation point. All of our products are blended, filled, and packed in the USA in a state-of-the-art facility. So they understand that a lot of consumers just want things to be American-made, and that's part of their part of their shtick. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Um, Leave a comment if you did.